Hey, what's going on everybody? We are talking about strings and in this video I'm going to show you how we can read and write strings to and from text files. So let's check that out. Now I've got a message predefined here. It's a multi-line message. Dear Amanda, I have to say that I am really impressed with the way you handled this situation today. And if I scroll over, have a good day, and then sincerely Tessa. So there are several new line characters here, and it's a multi-line message. And the idea is that we're going to write this message um, to a text file. Okay, so let's get started. And the first thing I need to do is uh, I'm going to say, uh, well, first I'll just get a comment, like write to a text file. All right, so I'm going to say f equals open. You see that open uh, makes or open changes color, so that's a that's a function in Python. Open, and what am I what am I going to open? I'll say test file dot txt, um, and test file does not exist on my desktop, so it's going to look at your current working directory, which is currently my desktop. It's going to look for this file. And uh, if it doesn't exist, it's going to create it if you are in write mode. So be, being that we want to write this message to a file, we're going to give it W in, in uh, quotes as a second input argument. So we're opening this file, you know, it's a text file, .txt, in write mode. So again, I'm just going to say, I'm going to give a comment here, open in write mode, create if doesn't exist. Okay, so right now on my desktop, if I showed you my desktop, it would not exist. And so uh, Python does not have a problem with that. It's just going to create it by itself. And then f, f is an object, which we haven't really talked about, but we can call methods on our objects. So we, what we can say is f.write. And what am I going to write to this thing? Well, I'm going to write the string that is stored in message. So I'm just going to say f.write message and I'll just comment this write the message okay and then we're going to close it so uh, close f.close and I need the parentheses there and um, that will close the file so whenever you write to a file you want to sandwich the write command between open and close always uh, always what was it say always and um, that should be good. So now I'm going to save it and run it. And it went through and I'm going to open up. Now I go to my desktop and that file magically exists. It's re really a cool thing. And I'm going to show you that file. Bring, let me bring it up. All right, there it is. And it says, Dear Amanda, I have to say that I am really impressed with the way you handled the situation today. And if I scroll over, have a good day. And then you see it does does capture the new line characters, new line, new line, sincerely, new line, Tessa. So uh, it did what it was supposed to do. That's really, really cool thing there. All right, so um, now let's say, uh, so we've closed the file, and let's say that uh, I want to, um, now we're going to append maybe some more text at the end of that message. So what we're going to do is open the file in append mode, append to a text file. Now if uh, if the file does not exist, append mode will create the file as well, but it does exist now on my desktop. So I'm going to say f equals, and again you can call whatever variable you want here, but f is short for file. Um, I'm going to say open again test file.txt and I'm going to give it a in in single quotes as the second input argument and this will open open the file in append mode so it does exactly what you think it's going to do um, it's going to not overwrite that message but it's going to append to the end of the message so we need to figure out what are we going to append so we'll say um, we'll define a variable like postscript equals um, ps uh, I am available on Friday to get together or something okay and that's what we're gonna append and we wanna actually append some new lines 
uh, to this so that it's not on the same line as Tessa. So we want to give it a couple new lines there. So we'll say backslash n backslash n ps. All right, so now with the file open, I'm going to say f.write. So it's actually the same command because I'm, I'm writing this string, but Python is smart because we opened it in append mode. It's not going to overwrite our previous message. So we're going to tell it what to write, and we're going to write postscript there. So I'll just say uh, append, or it's, it's, I guess it's technically writing, write, but it's at the end, at the end of the message. Okay, and then we're going to do an f.close. So anytime that you're going to append something, you want to sandwich the append uh, between open and close. Right, always close the file. All right, and um, I'm going to comment out what we previously did. And so we're just going to uh, execute uh, these things here. And actually, I'm just going to do it one by one at, at the console. So we've got we've got that that went through. So now we've got post script in memory, and then we're going to open the file, right? And then we're going to append that post script to the file. And actually, this is this is kind of cool. Uh, when you write, it it returns how many characters you've written to the file. So that that message has 48 characters, and then we're going to close the file. All right, now I'm going to go to my desktop and uh, I'm going to open the file with the uh, the notepad or the plain text editor and I'm going to show you that in a second here. Let me bring it up. Okay, and you see now that uh, the, the file contains this postscript. P.S. I'm available on Friday to get together. And it also wrote the two new lines, new line, new line, right? So uh, there we go, right? That works nicely, and um, I'm just going to gonna come back to my code, and now I want to show you how we can actually read that text file, you know, in case we don't want to do any writing. Maybe we've already parsed, like, data from the internet or an email message and uh, or a text message and so that data is already on our hard drive and we just want to read it we don't want to write or append so just to uh, emphasize this I'm going to clear everything reset all my variables okay and I'm gonna comment out all this stuff all right and I'm gonna comment out actually the message Okay, so everything is commented out now, So, and all the variables are gone, so we have nothing to work from. And the way we're going to get the data now is just to read from that text file. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is again create an object, f, dot, or f equals open, and I'm going, to, I'm going to open that text file, which again is in my current working directory, which happens to be the desktop, and I'm going to give it as a second input argument R for read. So this opens open file in read mode. Now you can't uh, here the file has to exist. It's not going to create it for you if you if uh, if you don't have it already. Uh, so then we're going to say f dot read. Okay. We're just going to read that message, f.read, and we're going to store that message as a string. So we can say um, something like maybe full message, or we create some variable full message in this case. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to assign f.read to that full message, right? So this is going to store, store the message as a variable. Right, and then uh, we're going to close f dot close the file. Again, whenever you read this time, you want to sandwich it uh, between open and close. Close the file. All right, and then uh, maybe we want to print the full message just to see if it worked. Right, so we're going to print that full message. I uh, will save that and run it. And then, sure enough, you see we printed the full message so that full message now is stored into memory 
So uh, this is how you could begin, for example, to um, uh, maybe programmatically send emails or send text messages. Maybe locally on your hard drive, you have uh, some, you know, prescribed message that you want to send. So you, you tell Python to read in that message and then you use some built-in libraries which are a little out of the scope of the class but not too bad and you use these built-in libraries, built-in functions to send emails once you read in the, the message. Pretty neat, right? Alright, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you very much.